the aquatic ecosystem flourishes, supporting enough fish to satisfy the king of the river. The giant otter. Just listen to that. The vocalizations are constant, this family party, constantly in touch with one another. These screeching calls are territorial, warning other animals that this group owns this stretch of river and all of the fish in it. Any rivals are aggressively dealt with. The whole family regularly patrols a stretch of up to 20 kilometers. And there's nothing that frightens them. Not even caimans. Now that they've got the river to themselves, it's down to the business of catching fish. And their appetites are insatiable. Each animal needs to eat a tenth of its body weight every day. In the Pantanal, there really is plenty for everyone. And it's all thanks to a mollusk. For me, the most important species here in the Pantanal is the apple snail. It's a true keystone species involved in everything that's going on here. It converts fish and other matter into grass. Grass and aquatic vegetation into food. It's even food itself, and it can survive anything that this place can throw at it. It shapes and structures the Pantanal. Therefore, it's what we call an ecosystem engineer. Without it, all those millions of caimans, the capybara, the jaguar, and especially the giant otter would struggle to live here. And that's why the giant otter needs the snail. I like that. I love the connectedness. <laughs>